good morning. So we are currently in the Northeast, which I know may seem a little bit like whiplash since the last time I saw you, we were in Zion National Park in Utah. And the last time you saw my van, we were in Nashville, Tennessee. So I'm definitely making this mobile lifestyle very mobile for sure. But I am currently with my family in my hometown, which is quite a curveball. But if you've been watching my videos, you know that I've sold the van. So we are in the process of this vehicle will be gone August 31st, 2023, which is less than a month away at this point, which there's a lot of feelings on that. <laughs> um, but we are trying to make the most of it as possible. We have such a short time left with this van before Van Build 2.0 starts. So even though I'm in my hometown, I want to get out and I still want to take adventures. So that's what we're doing today. So before we leave, I always say good morning to Betty. She doesn't live in the van with me right now because she hates it passionately, but I've decided we're going to try to take smaller steps with hope of her living in my next van. So we're starting with harness training and she's honestly been doing so good. I'm so proud of her. Even though she's being a little weird and doesn't want treats this morning, maybe she's just a little camera shy. But now we just have to grab this box that came in the mail for our trip today and we're ready to head out. I do want to say full disclosure before we start, this is a sponsored video. So thank you so much to Maddle for sending me this board. Though while it's sponsored, I do want to say the reason is because I have been wanting to learn to paddleboard for so long and I just knew I didn't have space for a regular board in my van, but I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw this board and I saw how it was compact and I could easily keep it in my van year round without taking up a lot of space. And I reached out to them because I really wanted a paddleboard and they were so kind and made my dream come true and sent me this board for this video but i'm just super psyched because i'm really trying to become more outdoorsy i do have a fear of animals and lake water though so this should be an interesting day to say the least all right it's time to open up the box It's pink. Are you shocked? Look at that. Great because it's going to be really easy to store in the trunk of my car, which I'm super excited about. Oh my goodness. Even the oars are pink. And there it is. Now what? All right. I think it's best if we blow this up, not in the van. I think we're almost ready now. If I'm being honest, I'm procrastinating because I'm a little scared. <laughs> Here we go. I probably should have looked up like how to paddleboard first, 
because honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. And if this just takes me somewhere with the current all on its own, I won't have any idea what to do. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Now we're going towards the bushes. We don't want that. I wish this had two sides, honestly. Like, you know, I could just... Kind of works, but... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> How do people get all the way out there without, like, crying? After about 20 minutes of just having fear, I got more comfortable and I eventually got out pretty far in the lake. Though eventually I did try to stand up as well and that had some mixed results. So lesson of the day, you shouldn't store your car keys in your clothing because if you face plant a few times, they might fall out in the lake. So what you're about to see is not how I professionally recommend getting into your locked vehicle, but here we go. only works if my skylight is already open and unlocked but I got lucky today let's go have some lunch I might go back out again but honestly right now let's just have a snack and process everything that just happened One of my favorite things about living in a van has easily become making food at beautiful places. I'm no chef, don't get me wrong, but there is something about relaxing in your home, making lunch, listening to the birds by a lake that just truly feels therapeutic to me. All right, so now we just need to deflate the paddleboard and then we are going somewhere I think will be an underrated and ultimate van life destination. Something I've always wanted to try for three years now, but honestly, I'm not sure if it'll go wrong or not. Ciao. Spins are out. I know that I literally just deflated it, but I kind of already want to go paddleboarding again. So there is one more stop I want to make tonight, and I'm not really sure how it's going to go. But first, actually, we need to get changed because wet lake water clothes isn't a good look for this. <laughs> Much better. All right. We kind of have a long drive, so we should probably get on the road. Welcome to Shankweiler's, America's oldest drive-in theater, and tonight we're here to see a double feature, Barbie and Legally Blonde. Hopefully while laying in the bed of my camper van with some nachos and my feet up. However, I've been worried about the size of my van would do me to the back row with a terrible view. So that is what we're trying to figure out now. Does van life work at a drive-in movie theater? Worst case scenario, I will close the doors. I won't listen to any of the Barbie movie 
and then I will go to theaters and see it. So while I'm checking out, the girl goes, do you want ketchup? And I answered, no, I brought my own. I don't know how many times she's heard that one, but don't you bring your own ketchup everywhere? So I also rented this radio from the Snack Shack because I didn't want to hurt my van's battery or have to blast it because I'm so far away from the radio in bed. And I was really happy with that choice. However, it died before the second movie started, so that sucked. But luckily, I already have memorized every single word to Legally Blonde. Also, I was wrong. I'm in the very back corner and this is a killer spot. I honestly don't know how I've gone three years. Three years, by the way. I just had my anniversary owning this van for three years on July 6th. How have I gone three years without ever taking this to the drive-in movie theater? And right now I'm like, I have to bring my sister and brother back and then we can like all lay across the bed, see a movie. This is incredible. Like this is the same spot I was originally in and I was worried that like the view would be bad, but with the radio, this is gonna be, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> the van makes the experience so much better. And so I'm so excited. All right, well, that's it for today's adventure. I had so much fun learning to paddleboard thanks to Maddle, and I'm already planning a lot more drive-in movie nights before the van is gone at the end of this month. But until then, I'm just appreciating every day while I still have it. I'll see you next week.